And now, our choice for the most fascinating person of the year. Let's see, how do I introduce her? I guess the question is, what does it take to fascinate one of the most fascinating men in the world? She is known primarily through her spouse. And while we know little about her, we know a great deal about him. And he has fascinated many women, especially me. Amal Alamuddin, known now as Amal Clooney, is suddenly in that stratosphere that we reserve for the Jackie O's or the Princess Di's and Kate Middleton's. That is, everything she does, says, or wears is officially fascinating. This is Amal Alamuddin, George Clooney's beautiful bride. You could say hers was the wedding of the year, but let's put it into perspective. It was really one of the greatest achievements in human history. Everyone said that no one would ever get George Clooney to the altar. In fact, George Clooney, who had been married briefly in his 20s, said it himself to me in 1995. You've said you never want to get married again. No, I, I won't marry again. How do you know you won't marry again? Well, I'm not a kid, you know, I'm 34. You know you're <laughs> never going to get married again? Um, yes, I know Why? I'm never going to get married again because, um, because I wasn't very good at it. you got to have a lot of friends, George. I have a lot of friends. That interview became one of George's main weapons in his battle to stay a bachelor. I talked to him again in 2006. I want to ask you something that I'm curious about. When you go with a woman, and, and do you say up front, you know, I'm not going to get married, or, or, do, do, or does each one think I'm the one, maybe? No, you know what's funny is, because of you, I don't have to, you see. <laughs> it's out there. Like climbers attempting Mount Everest, a bevy of beautiful women threw themselves at the unattainable and failed. There was Kimberly Russell, an actress. Celine Balatran, a waitress. Lisa Snowden, a model. Sarah Lawson, a cocktail waitress. Elisabetta Canales, a TV personality. And Stacy Kubler, a former cheerleader and professional wrestler. Amal is a little different. Like Clooney, she is passionately committed to human rights causes. Like Clooney, who has a father who is a journalist, she has a mother who's a journalist. And like Clooney, she is a star in her own world. Born into a prominent Lebanese family, she grew up in a London suburb, went to Oxford, got her law degree at NYU, and clerked for then federal judge, Sonia Sotomayor. She returned to London and became a very well-known attorney who defended freedom of speech and women's rights while looking gorgeous. Her clients included Julian Assange and a prime minister of Ukraine. She advises the king of Bahrain and Kofi Annan. George and Amal met at a charity dinner in Italy. It was a perfect match. He is perfectly handsome and suave. No one wears a suit better or his fame more lightly. She also wears a suit incredibly well and is even more perfect when she speaks. Egypt is turning a corner in 2000. Well, obviously, it's a really emotional time. Um, it's up to my husband which causes he chooses to support. Their wedding, of course, was also perfect. From the transportation to the post-wedding brunch outfit to the wedding dress made by the late, great Oscar de la Renta to her custom-made hat. Amazingly, Amal has been the subject of very little snark or envy. Maybe because we, like George Clooney, find it impossible to resist perfection. Or maybe because it is heartening to think that no matter how long it may take, the perfect someone is out there for everyone. And that, for us, makes her the most fascinating person of 2014.